M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So the Yaesu FT710 has new firmware and here it is. At the end of this video I will show you the firmware process, also I will include the instruction manual. So let's have a quick look at the changes. Looks like they have addressed the DNR complaints because it says here number one, let's just get this bigger, AES settings can now be saved for each mode, that's good. Improved DNR characteristics, a lot of people ask for that. Change the menu notation of the CW wave, a lot of complaints about CW. Fix the bug that the mic equalizer was enabled in data mode. Fix the bug that some items were not reflected when calling QMB. Fix the bug that the band stack was not memorized properly when power was turned off. Fix the bug that the cursor position was not memorized in cursor mode. Fix the problem that the icon may be lost when power is restarted with the tuner on. Improvement to permit shifting to PMS with cat command. The repeater shift frequency is reflected in the FA and FB commands. Fix the bug that the cat AI was not output when operating preset items. Fix the bug in operation of the X command tuner lin port select. Fix the problem that the response was not performed normally when cat commands were received continuously. Other improvements. So yeah, we always like a nice firmware upgrade in a radio and especially when it addresses problems that people have spoke about. So there's the instructions. It's very straightforward. Put your SD card in and, and then just follow and it does do one section at a time. I've noticed that with the you know display in ETC. So watch the video and hopefully um, you'll be able to do this. I It's a bit late for me here at night so I'll be doing mine in the morning and thanks very much for watching my channel 7.3. M0FXB let's have a go at installing the firmware on our 710 and this is the first firmware that has come out. Version 0106 November 2022. So we're going to need an SD card now we've already put our one in let's just take it out and just show you that close up so I just pushed it in gently but there it is there now it's a bit stiff coming in and out but this one's quite a large one it's 32 but I think you can use a much a, a much smaller one when you push it in the radio will give you the option to set it up at the front now as you can just as you've just seen so just click yes effectively takes you to the extension setting menu then scroll down to the bottom, or you could use a mouse, and just click Format, and Format SD card. Let that run, and then it gets the card ready for you, and then you're going to take it out and plug it into your laptop or computer. There you go, Format complete. And it always makes sense to turn the radio off. And then again, remove the SD card. Just push it like so. Gently take it out. And it goes this way around. And then we're going to put it into our PC. To look up what software version you have, you just go function, extension, then software version. And it's displayed here and you've got five different figures. Main display, DSP, SDR and DST. To get your files, just go to this Yesu link in the description here, and then just go to Firmware Update, and you can click Firmware Upgrade Upgrade Manual as well if you want, but anyway, Firmware Update, you'll get a zip file at the bottom here. Once that loads, just extract it to somewhere you're going to find it. So all I do is just click it, and I hit the Extract button here. And then I've named a file 710 on my desktop, 710, and I just click OK, and the file will be there. So we've got our SD card plugged into the laptop. We're just going to copy the folders. So here they are in the file where we save them. So we're just going to copy them all like so. So click on the mouse so they all go blue. Right click and click copy. Then we're going to go to our SD card here. Right click and put paste. Then we'll just go to our USB drive, right click and click eject. That's it, then take the SD card out and let's put it back into our 710. 
What you do need to do though is to copy it also, even when it's in the SD card, copy it. Like so, copy it and then click FT710, right click and paste. Otherwise your radio doesn't see it. At this point I've realised later that you do tick the little box that says main, main first. Okay, we're back at the radio, push the SD card in, click no this time. Like so. Then function, extension, SD card, then this time firmware update, click done. It will check and you only update the one that it ticks basically, which is version 1.05, as far as I can see. So at this point, don't tick anything, just go with the tick and click update. And then click OK. And it's definitely now where you can't turn the power off. And it's updating what you need to do now. If you look at the, the firmware information, DSP is version 01.00, and we have that. SDR is 1.03, and we already have that. And the main firmware is 1.06. So it's only updating what is called the display. And that's it. I just heard it click off then. So when I just turn on the radio, like so, and then we'll go and check our firmware. So we'll go ex function, extension, SD card, software version, and we now, it now says version 1.05. Now the main does say version 1.02, so to me it does need the firmware updating for, for the main. So let's give it a go, being that it is 1.06, so we'll go back, extension, uh, SD card firmware, let it do its file check, 1.6. Now the other two look fine, 1.0, so I've ticked that again, I click update this time. Because to me, that does need doing. Although uh, I was told that it would automatically find the firmware that you need. But anyway, not to worry. We are now doing it, we'll let that complete. So now we will have, the main will be 1.06. The display will be 1.05. The DSP will be 1.00. And the SDR will be 1.03. And that's it. Again, of course, don't turn the power off. The thing I would have really liked would be to have, when you plug the mouse in, to be able to click a, a button called function. That would have been very nice, instead of having to use the function button all of the time. Right, we're getting near the end. It should turn off now. Finished. Oh, it's gone onto the display again. That's fine. We'll let it do that. There you go, it's turned off, so we can turn it on again. I mean, it's an excellent radio, isn't it? Let's face facts. So we go menu, or function, extension, software, and there we are 1.06, 1.05, and the rest. So that's it, I hope this helps and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and just remember with my channel, it's a diary, it's a learning channel and I'm learning in front of you, uh, I'm, not, I'm not an expert, I'm just, just like you, I've got a radio and I want to know how to use it. So bye for now, 7-3, all the best.